On the 13th of February, 2008, Prime Minister Kevin Rudd delivered the National Apology to Australia's Indigenous people. Good afternoon, teachers, students and guests. My name is Trish. I am the chairperson of the local Aboriginal Education Consolidative Group. I'm a Gamilaroi woman from Walgett in New South Wales and moved to Aubrey as part of the resettlement. The thoughts of the government at the time of the stolen generation was not to allow people, in particular Aboriginal people, to be together as they had hoped that eventually they would fade out our colour, our culture, our heritage, our ways, our laws, everything about us, that we would fade away and we would mingle into society and we'd be forgotten about. As the oldest generation of people that walk on this land, First Nations people. As I stand here today as a proud member of the Aboriginal community, I'd just like to reflect on a couple of things that I went through growing up as an Aboriginal person. When I was born, I was born under the Flora and Fauna Act. I was not acknowledged as a person, but flora and fauna. No birth certificate, no rights, no house to live in, no respect, and very little food. I can reflect back when my mother would stand at the end of the road near the rubbish tip and she would wait for the local fruit cart to go past and he would stop and our family would be given the spoiled fruit and vegetables from the fruit truck. Because we live from the land, the, the very poor vegetation, especially in the summertime, kangaroo, emu, cockatoo, pigeon, quail, rabbit, they were my food as growing up as a young person. I can also reflect back as to where I was on the day of the apology statement. I stood, like many others, in Aubrey at the entertainment centre and I listened to the very speech that you got a caption of. I stood with aunties, uncles, cousins, sisters, brothers, friends, just to hear, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what our government did to your people. There was tears, there was laughter, but there was reflection still on what we went through. So today, I don't see it as blame, as I feel that today's generation should not carry any weight on their shoulders of past generations' choices and actions. But in saying that, I do believe that we all have a responsibility in moving forward and acknowledging the wrongdoings of the past and to ensure that they are remembered and we all walk together to see that it never happens again to any generation of people. As I am sad today, as I always am when I hear the acknowledgement, and, and I remember the happy times as well as the sad times, I'm also happy. I'm happy to see so many people walking beside us now to ensure that our land, language, law and practices are being acknowledged and are part of all of us as we move together in respect, in harmony, and in acknowledging. Thank you.